This is the last part of my South Coast trip, taken in the Guildhall Art Gallery and the Titanic Museum. When you first walk into the Guildhall, it is in essence a library. I thought it would be about the same size as the town where I live. There they have an art um, exhibition and it's quite small, it takes about five minutes to go around. So I wasn't expecting very much, but I was very wrong. When you go upstairs, there are several different rooms full of very important works of art. In fact, they've got over 5,300 pieces of art there. And this year, the Guildhall Art Gallery is celebrating 80 years of being open. In 2016, Gilbert was diagnosed with stage 4 bowel cancer, which triggered a major shift in his artwork. This exhibition shows a body of work called Convalescence, which was created both in hospital and at home. Beautiful. This is one of the rooms in Southampton Art Gallery, which is really the upstairs of their library. As you can see, it's not very busy. It's free entry with a recommended £3 donation each. Sad child, man on a plank with a dog, I believe he's fishing in his top hat, yeah, it's 1884 by Jean-Louis Forin. Oh, there's a few horses there. Lucy Kemp Welch, 1869 to 1954. It's called Timber Run in the Welsh Hills. Quite like that. The Church at Longpont, Maurice Urtillo. Not my cup of tea, really. I like this one. Duncan Grant. Thames Wolves, 1936. Girl in a frock. The Torn Gown, 1897, by Henry Tonks. Monte Carlo. There's a lot going on in there. It's with John Lavery. 1930, Monte Carlo Afternoon. The Tichborn Claimant by Walter Richard Sickert, 1930. She reminds me of someone. Jean Boswell Farquharson, Portrait of a Girl. What does she look like? She reminds me of someone. <laughs> it does look, looks like I've got a friend who looks like this. It's the beard that gives him away. <laughs> the Sea City Museum houses several exhibitions, but I'm only going to show you the Titanic one because I found it the most interesting. Here's old Archie. Mm. The lookout who missed the iceberg. It's 
Cadê o Alt? It's really clever. It's like a pop out Christmas card. Little butcher in there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at this. Teaching girls to keep out. I missed that lesson. This bird was only 30. This tea is the purest on the market. Titanic anchors and chains. Fully loaded, Titanic weighs more than 52,310 tonnes. Three enormous anchors and chains are needed to hold her. The anchors and chains were made at the Hingley Iron Works at Netherton in the West Midlands. The two side anchors weigh 7.8 tonnes and the massive centre anchor weighs 15.8 tonnes. Each link in the chain was shaped by manpower with hammer and anvil and weighs around 12 stone and 8 pounds, as 80 kilos, about the same as an average adult man. I hope you've enjoyed looking around the south coast of England. I've enjoyed making the videos. I'm going to leave you with just a couple more clips of the deck of the Titanic and the staircase, and a bit of fun as well. Thank you for watching.